Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm Rick. And you're watching Food for the Soul. And we're back with another monk. What? Another monk. What? Another monk. Bang. Bang. How's everybody doing today? I'm so excited to be back with you and to share what we're going to be eating today. But first of all, I really want to um, show my appreciation and I want to really, really um, thank everybody who viewed or took time out of their day to view the video. Um, we don't take it lightly. We know that everybody's they have other things that they could be doing, but we just were overwhelmed with the support and it was just really wonderful and it was awesome because it, this, we were really nervous doing this, but you know, I, I am so grateful and so thankful that, um, that you guys got to watch it and I, I got, you know, several responses from people who really enjoyed it. So we're back with another monk bang and today we're going to be doing turkey legs and, um, they're smoked turkey legs, but what I did was I, I put jerk seasoning, Jamaican jerk seasoning on them. So they're jerk turkey legs. So right here we have collard greens. Got collard greens on deck. We got also some melted cheese, and then we also have some barbecue sauce. So we're going to go ahead and pray first, and then we're going to go ahead and um, get to grubbing. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for all things. We thank you for this meal. We thank you for those, Lord Jesus, who you've allowed to come into our lives and watch this video. Allow the people that view this video to be blessed by it, God, and receive something. And everybody who's going through something in their life or struggle or they need direction or they don't know where to go or they don't know what to do, bless them and open a door for them of opportunity financially and otherwise. We thank you and we praise you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. Ready? Good. Okay, well, let's go. So how's everybody doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. Mm. I couldn't wait to eat this. We cooked it. We're trying to get everything set up so that we could grow up. I'm really hungry. Because we don't eat all through the day. When we um film our mukbangs, yeah, we try not to eat through the day. This is like this is like the only meal we like to eat when we do this. So we wait until the food's cooked, we set up, and then that's when we eat. So, anyways, how's everybody doing? The weather here in California is cold, but it's 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 pleasant. We have um, the sun's out, and it's really pleasant. It's not too bad. So. Mmm, this is really good. Really, really good. Yeah, my wife did this good. So I was getting several questions <clears throat> from people. Even though it was our first time doing a YouTube video, it took a lot just for us to do it. But I got several questions on you know, how do you start? Like, how do you start doing YouTube? Like, without being nervous and without being scared and, like, totally critiquing yourself and thinking that you don't look good enough or thinking, like, you don't sound good enough or whatever. And to be honest with you, there's no answer to that. Right, Rick. You just, right. you just gotta start. Just gotta start. Yeah, there's just there's... gotta start. Don't let, don't don't let not having enough equipment stop you. Don't let, you know, being afraid stop you. You just gotta do it. I found the more that I thought about doing it, the more I talked myself out of it. Mm -hmm. The more I said I was gonna do it, the more I didn't. And it's kind of like, when we did the first video, my son Trey, he's my middle son, he was so nervous. He was so nervous. And you know, my husband, this is my husband, he was telling me, we just got to do it. And we would always encourage our kids because, you know, to do YouTube because, I mean, everybody watches YouTube, you know, it's, it's like. YouTube is like the net, like Netflix, like, you know, the, the new tube, you know what I mean? And we encourage them because, you know, it's, it's a good side hustle. If you can get it going and you're consistent, it's a good side hustle. 
um, he didn't think that he could do it until we actually sat here and did the video together. But once he got past that, after we recorded the video, what did he say, Rick? He had said um, that. It's, oh, he, he said he said he was more comfortable with it. It's, it's pretty easy. It wasn't as hard as he thought. Then we conjure all these thoughts up in our head, like it's going to be difficult. It's going to be so hard, but it's really not that hard. I think what it is is well. In his words, he said he looked in the camera, but when he looked in the camera, he didn't see. He looked and he didn't see the camera. He seen a bunch of people. It's kind of like you have an audience, and so you have to learn how to um to refocus and and rethink what you're looking at and thinking about. You right, know what I mean? Right. So now he feels more comfortable to go ahead and do his own videos should he want to, or at least he has, he's tried it and it's like either I can or I can't, you know? So the best thing that I could tell um, some of these people that have reached out to me about doing YouTube, the best thing that I could tell you is just to start. I mean, there's never going to be a perfect time. There's never going to be you're never going to look perfect. Your hair's not going to ever be just right. You're never going to have the right teeth. You know, you may have, you know, you may feel like your forehead's big. Whatever the case is, we always try to criticize and dissect ourselves down. But there are people who have disabilities and there are people that have way more problems than us doing YouTube. And they're not ashamed of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because there's so many demographics of people that can be reached. You never know who it is that you can affect. You never know who it is that you can sow into. You can sow into somebody's life and you don't know who that's going to be. And it may not be the types of people you think, you know, so don't be afraid because there's room for everybody and everybody um, has a way of reaching, you know, and, and, and start with an idea. Do it as a hobby. Do it or start with things that you like. You know what I'm saying? It could be sports, it could be whatever, it could be pranks. It, I see crazy stuff, crazy stuff on YouTube. Don't you, you see what I'm talking about? All yeah, kinds of crazy stuff. Do, you can do daily vlogs, you can do pranks, you can do, you know, mukbangs, you can do. Music? Music, you can do, you know, if, you, if you're techie and you know about phones, you can do, you can do phones, you can do it all. You know, just find your niche. Something that you enjoy. But when you start, the important thing is once you start, you gotta stay committed to it. Don't start, stop, start, stop. You have to have it's so much harder to work for yourself than it is just to go to a regular job. You're gonna put more work in for yourself when you start doing it. Because the filming, that's the easy part. When you start really getting into the editing, like you see right now, our setup this time is a little different than it was last time. Well, the setup's different because we're playing around with different techniques and different ways of filming, different tables, different looks, different lighting. We're trying to find the right vibe, the right look for the video. Then we'll be able to edit it the way we want to edit it. Right. If you hear a noise, don't worry about it. It's just... The garbage truck so <laughs> don't worry about that we live close to a street so you're gonna get the noise and stuff but anyways you you got to play around with things and fine-tune them you're not gonna start as a pro you're not gonna just jump and start doing videos or start doing anything it's just like lifting weights or going you know um, getting um, into a physical regimen you know or you're trying to get back into fitness I mean, if you haven't exercised in years, you're not going to go in there and just start benching 300, 200, 500, 100. It's not going to happen. You have to build that muscle up. It's the same thing. Everything's that way. You got to start small and you got to build up little by little. A lot of times we want to just go from 0.1 to 100 and it doesn't work like that. It does take time. And there's little things that you need to learn along the way. Like we're learning. We're learning, you know. Every day we're learning, you know, and and you'll find other videos that in, when they started, I see a lot of, um, there's, I watch a lot of mukbang videos, I watch, I watch a lot of fitness videos, 
because you know I really get inspired by people who are um, taking care of their bodies and trying to get their health and fitness together and it doesn't matter what they're um, doing it could be they could be doing Weight Watchers. They could be doing plant-based diet. I mean, I'm inspired by anybody that's trying to make, take steps to um, motivate themselves to get to better health. And I watch those videos and I watch workouts and stuff. Uh, I can see their videos from when they first started until now. When they first started, they weren't that great. You could tell that they were st you know, stumbling. You've seen them. They yeah. stumble yeah. over their words. You know, they are, um, you could just tell their form's not right when they lift. They're, um, cause you have to have the right form in your squat and benching. It's not right in the beginning, but as time goes on, their form gets right. They start to focus on, make that muscle to mind connection, and they start building those muscles. And then you start to see parts of their anatomy develop. But it's a process, you know what I mean? And so you just got to think of it as, oh, it's all a process. But don't be afraid. Don't be nervous. Just start. Just start. I mean, I would watch monk bangs. All the time. I was fascinated with them. You know what I mean? Not because of, you know, the glamorization of the food. You know, because I'm a foodie. We like food. But, it, but it's not because food's being abused. It's just, you know, they got to cook anyway. They got to eat anyway. So why not? You know what I mean? Um, I want to encourage you that anybody who has a desire or an interest or anybody who's saying that they think they can't. Single mom, single parent, struggling with your income, or just want to connect with other people. There's nothing wrong with doing it. So all you got to do is just start. Right. Even if you're looking for jobs and you can't, you know, you're in an area where you can't find a job right away, or you're in between, this is a good way to start. And it gives you something to do with your time. You know what I mean? It gives you something to do with your day, you know, so I just want to encourage you with that because, you know, a lot of us, we have so much potential hidden inside of us. We have so much locked in to ourselves and we don't express that. We don't show that. And we always work below what our worth is or below what it is that we can do. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to encourage you that, you know, we got to get a hold of your mind, get a hold of your thoughts. Don't let negative thoughts come in. Don't let people who are going to tear you down and tell you you can't do something. Don't, don't even feed into that. Like, don't let it come around. Don't let it into your space. Don't even let it into your atmosphere because it's toxic and it's just going to break you down and you're not going to do anything. You need to, iron sharpens iron. You need to find people that are like-minded like you that want to do things that you want to do, that want to grow, that want to develop, that want to have their businesses, that want to have nice things. You need to find those types of people. When you find those types of people and you connect with them, iron sharpens iron. You guys will build each other up. Right. And you'll begin to learn from them. You, you got to go where the people that are doing what you want to do are going and do what they're doing to get what, you know, to where they're at. That's how it is. You know, be around those people so that you can grow and you can develop, you know. And don't say you don't think you could ever have something. You got anything you want to set your mind to it. People don't realize how powerful the mind is. If you're sad and, you, and you're not happy, you want to have a bad day, your mind can literally create that scenario for you to have a bad day. You know, if you speak something into existence, it will happen. If you speak negativity into existence or you think something bad's going to happen and you speak it, nine times out of ten, it comes to pass because you already spoke it into existence. If you think something that's negative or bad, or just if you think that you can't just kick it out and put it with a positive um, thought, reinforce it with something that's positive, you know, to encourage yourself. You have to encourage yourself sometimes when there's nobody to do that, you know, especially around this time of year. A lot of people are struggling. A lot of people are going through discouragement. They've lost people they love. You know, they, 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 they're depressed because their family's not around. You know, maybe their finances aren't where they need to be. They have no father. They have no mother. You know what I'm saying? Just different things. And, and this time of year may be a hard time for them. You know, you can't dwell on that. You have to encourage yourself. When there's nobody around to, to give you a good word, you know, to tell you you're important because you are important. 
And you need to be told that. But if there's nobody there to tell you, you know, you're important. I'm telling you you're important. And you got to believe you're important. Important enough to do something about your life and yourself and move forward. So you have to encourage yourself. And however you have to, if that means going out for a walk to get things off your mind. You know what I mean, Rick? If, you, if you're stuck in a rut yeah. or you just... You're, you wake up and you feel like the weight of the world is on you or you just don't feel good in your body. You have to learn to push yourself beyond that pain. You have to learn to push yourself beyond how you feel. And once your mind gets to that point, the body will connect with it and then you won't feel that pain or you won't feel that hurt. Or you'll find yourself, okay, I'm not weighed down by that discouragement or frustration, you know. I know I'm a talker. I know you guys are probably like, okay, go ahead and eat. But I'm just a talker. I'm, I'm someone who believes in the power of what you think and how it can bring you down if you bring, think negative things. You know what I mean? And how your body can heal itself if you do the things that you need to do. You know? Just to add to something that was said, you know, if you, if you uh, have nothing to do, and you're just, you know, sitting around the house being bored, nothing to do, you know. And let's just say it's a, it's, it's not a nice day outside or it's too cold. It's also a perfect time to sit down, do a video, you know, do what you want to do, and you know, just just for your just for your your first time to do it to see how it could, you know, to see how it turns out. Do the video, load it, and you be you see how many people, you know, that you that you get. For the first time. Or just practice. Sit there and practice. Who cares if you make 10 mistakes, 15 mistakes? You know, make your mistakes. Because this is the thing. I find the more that you practice, the more mistakes you make. No. Sometimes you're better off just doing it a couple of times and uploading it. Whatever happens, happens. Because I, the funniest videos to me are the ones that are unedited and unscripted. Those are the funniest ones. The ones that are unscripted and things just happen in those videos. Right. So, you know, <clears throat> that's just how it is. I got a lot of comments on that crawfish um, boil. And we have another one coming. We have another one coming. I have plenty of those coming. We have a lot of challenges that we're going to be doing with my um, my kids and, of course, my husband. So they're going to be fun. They're going to be a little wacky because, you know, we're a little bit <laughs> wacky. But that's okay. So, yeah, you won't, you won't see a lot of... Uh... Food challenges. I mean, you you might see some, but you won't see a lot of food challenges because we don't necessarily eat. What? You know, a lot of a lot of carbs. So you'll see food challenges, but we don't. I I wanted to do this for it to be more of a healthier style of um, monk banging because it doesn't always have to be. You know, all the fast food and all that. I mean, all that stuff is good. But sometimes you can enjoy conversation. You can enjoy people. You can enjoy um, spending time with each other and, and feeding each other. You know, like I said, food for the soul. Food for the soul is not just just eating. Food for the soul is a word of encouragement. Food for the soul, you know, is is when you're sitting with somebody and they're talking and they're sowing, sowing words of encouragement into your life. In that conversation, when you leave the table, I, when I eat with somebody and we talk and we leave the table, I always remember something that they said that impacted me. You know what I mean? Um, it could be, you know, food for the soul could be laughter. You know, all of that feeds your soul. It all makes you feel better. It all brings you out of, of a dark place. You know what I'm saying? And good food. Of course, you got to have good food because if the food ain't good, I don't know what to say. Because I like good food. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> that's just me. I've been having some of my family members on here. You guys will see some of my other kids. But I'll also have some of my family members as time goes. So you can see, I have a big, we have a big family. And we just like to enjoy each other. So I am really starting to get full. I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like comment, subscribe, and share if you like this video. And we'll be back with another mock bang for you.